Good morning, good morning, ready up gamers, because it is Monday, March 25th, and we are speed running through this week in Web3 Gaming to keep you updated on everything that you need to know. I am your host, Icy Gaming, alongside my duo partner, Peyton Kaleva. Hey, a Web3 marketing lead for Shrapnel. Ooh, that feels so good to say. Uh, K9 of the K9s, it is Wolves Dow, and therefore, he is the biggest wolf in the den. We're going to talk about all of that the best alpha pack in web three gaming Peyton, good morning uh it's so oh, man it's weird to not wake up and see you and give you a hug in the morning <laughs> yes, i know dude it was so crazy like you were kind of talking about like does this is this what it feels like to be a part of a content house or just like you know being a part of it i was just like such a it's such a great opportunity to just be next to all the wolves that we've been building alongside the past like two years, dude. I am so pumped, dude. Yeah, I know. I wish I could give you a hug right now, uh, but unfortunately I can't. Um, it's 3 a.m. in Hawaii. <laughs> this know. is finally the last ready up that it will do uh, at this time, but uh, I'm here and I'm freaking excited. We... And Jaxie already saying GMF first. <laughs> loud saying, what up, boys? <laughs> what Jaxie, up chat, it's, baby? it's good to be back, man. Uh, good to see you. Peyton, you look fantastic. Uh, yeah, this is your last ready up in, in Hawaii. We are going to miss uh, the garden botanical background. Um, I think uh, I was telling Sam, man, I think Wolves Den needs to be like two two weeks next year. I think that we need a week to uh, decompress and debrief after GDC and where we can all just like hang out uh, and not be inundated with uh, events and play tests and, you know, alpha and, and all that stuff. Um, we're going to get into all of that, man. Uh, we got a packed show for you guys today. Peyton, what are some of the things that we're going to be talking about? Oh, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of things, obviously Wolves Den, but like a lot of the people that won actually uh, GDC, I loved your post about that, but we're also going to touch on things that happened outside of uh, GDC, things that are happening on Blast that kind of have a sign of life um, coming in and saying like, you know, Blast is not finished yet uh, in this cycle. And I definitely, we called it, it, it won't be. Yeah. Uh, we're also going to talk about our amazing sponsors, OpenSea, Honeyland and everything like that. Dude, we have a lot to go over like cool. always. <laughs> and uh, so what, what about you, Icy? What, what are you looking forward to? Uh, man, uh, huge news coming out of YGG, uh, the Guild of Guilds. We got to see Gabby at GDC. That was really cool. He came by Wolves Den. Uh, uh, I, we both took meetings with him. Uh, Ronin getting listed on Coinbase. Uh, we, you mentioned Crypto Valley uh, blasting off on Blast. We're right. going to talk about that. Uh, the $100 million inevitable games fund coming out of Immutable and Polygon. Uh, are they taking our immutable uh, in inevitable uh web3 gaming uh phrase here um you know we'll dive into that i think so uh, culture man yeah man uh but real quick i mean like just we're gonna talk about wolves den in more depth but just like reflecting on, on the week that was gdc and wolves den how are you feeling coming back home kind of uh reflecting on it it was it was quite the I, I, the best word that I have for it is like just iconic, man. It felt like just such an iconic was. event. You know, Sam, really well done. Uh, but all of the Wolves Dow core admin, 100 plus wolves descended upon San Francisco. Really cool to meet Loud for the first time. Um, I met Blake for the first time. Sparksy was there. Uh, oh, man, I'm sad it's over. Dude, it was so good. It's, it's sad that it's over. I think it was definitely like... Um, it was a very good sign that like you know we have to protect what we have I, I i tweeted about it and we'll touch on it a little bit later but we definitely need to protect it mm -hmm. um and just reflecting on it is mostly it was crazy because i was like you know like what are we going to do next but it's also a little bit of like hey what do we need to do to protect this and what should we do what move should we do uh how can we protect the brand by not attaching our brand to every little thing mm -hmm. so just a lot of things to reflect on uh moving into these next weeks but we'll get to it man i'm super excited uh i can't wait to check the markets with you because i haven't <laughs> looked at any of it the yeah, past right. week so i don't know how yeah, people man, were, really were, excited. Uh, we're staying on top of everything um guys if you're tuning in live go ahead and yeah, retweet man. the space uh uh, if you're on X, it really helps us grow the show, and we're going to be doing a giveaway in just a few minutes. We'll give away uh, 10 raffle tickets to three winners who do that because we appreciate you. Um, we'll be doing, Peyton, we're going to have to talk about our, our end of the month uh, open sea uh, gaming Honeyland stream that we're extravaganza yes. that we'll do probably next week. Um, but real quick, yeah. let's uh, thank the sponsors. So uh, 
really, really great to see Oliver from OpenSea at uh, Wolves Den GDC. Thank you so much for the hoodie. These GG hoodies were probably uh, one of the highest like uh, requested and desired was, uh, was. pieces of merch there. You guys see the fresh Honeyland hat. Uh, shout out to Corey for that. Um, of course, Ready Up is sponsored by uh, OpenSea and Honeyland. And we like to start off with this week in Web3 and NFTs from uh, OpenSea's Digest here. So let's talk about that. Um, let's see. Parallel introducing their colony white paper describing uh, their AI survival game on Solana. We covered that last week. Um, uh, OpenSea dives into that uh black mirror nfts uh selling out showcasing the the uh demand for their digital collectibles i don't think we covered it too much Peyton. it was on the docket but we didn't have time to uh to fit it into the schedule i actually tried to jump into this but it was sold out by the time that i got there so i was pretty sad about that uh i tuned into one of their spaces really interesting stuff that they're doing also their trailer has um uh, super massive who we also uh, got yes. to meet at GDC. Really awesome guy. We were talking to him about his thoughts on Fortnite and the metaverse and everything. Um, I did not get to ask him about the Black Mirror and his involvement. So would love to follow yeah. up with him about that. Um, Optimism cool. celebrating uh, their art and technology uh, contest winners. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, we got, let's see, token bound partnering with layer zero labs to enable omni chain TBA transactions, uh, when cross chain, maybe now cross chain. Uh, we also have Indian railways rolling out NFT train tickets. Uh, so again, the digital and the physical, uh, merging into these fidgetals, really curious to see if that is a pilot program that we find that sticks. Uh, mm -hmm. Oftentimes we see these things, right? The Starbucks stuff, the Reddit stuff. Uh, right. But then a year or so later, they kind of shut it down because it's like maybe, maybe Web3 doesn't fix this. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but again, it's always bullish and cool to see people trying stuff out, you know. And um, yeah, absolutely. It's all a part of the process. Um, let's see. What else do we got? We got Vive. Uh, not to be denied, Vive coming back, launching Marvel NFT comics featuring Spider Man and X Men. Um, I think that we'll see a potential resurgence. I know that Vive has a very uh, passionate community, um, brought a lot of people into the they space do. for the first time. Um, do, yeah. And I mean, continuing to partner with, uh, you know, huge IPs like like Marvel. So, you know, good on them. Right. Uh, and then last but not least, we got OpenSea and Seaport, uh, Seaport oh. Working Group. Uh, unveiling Seaport 1.6, which is the latest generation of the most advanced NFT marketplace protocol in the EVM ecosystem. Seaport hooks allow developers to build applications that greatly expand the utility and liquidity of NFTs. So you love to see OpenSea making moves there. Shout out to OpenSea and Honeyland uh, for sponsoring Ready Up. Um, real quick, Peyton, I don't know if I've like watched this yeah. trailer at least. I watched it again last night and I was like, oh man, like I missed a lot of things the first time that I watched this trailer from Honeyland. And now that I've played the game, I guess I think I understand this trailer quite a bit more. And this trailer is just a banger. There's a lot, there's a lot to Honeyland. Um, and just like a lot of the complexity to it, but they also make it super easy to just onboard. Yeah. Um, and I think that's really what's going to make them uh, win uh, this cycle. And I'm excited to see how that affects the market price by making it more accessible uh, to more people um but also it just like looks fun too you know it's it's why Knox says it like you know don't don't sleep on the the moms and the daughters that choose to play games so don't sleep on honeyland guys uh they did speak at alpha night they did share some uh little teasers to some of the things that they've got up and coming and boy am i excited to be partnered with honeyland uh also they just make the freshest hats this is by far my favorite hat from um yeah. from I love it from GDC maybe second only I gave one to my wife too there's a white one and there's and they're black ones yeah. so yeah it's, it's sick I was testing out which one like worked better with uh with the open sea hoodie the white or the black and I ended up going with yeah, the black yeah, no, you, look, you look fresh brother you thank look you, fresh thank brother you, thank you uh yeah if you guys have not 
downloaded Honeyland yet, what are you doing? It's free to play. Download it on your phones. You can start earning their HXD token, playing the games. It is a super casual, sure. hyper, um, hyper mobile um, uh, farming. You just send them out and you earn. So I, you guys can see right there. I've got 0.114. I've been earning this whole time. Um, all right, Peyton, with that said, let's get into the markets. Uh, Bitcoin kind of get flat it. on the week, down just a little, little bit. Right. Uh, 67K, Ethereum 3,400. Solana was oh, the only thing ripping. I, we crossed over $200, down about 8% on the week, but still $184 Solana. I mean, we were just looking at Solana like less than a month ago. It was $90, $100. So Solana absolutely ripping. Um trending we've got wi-fi map gala uh up 13 percent largest gainers catcoin fluence kratos i mean we're just in full full kind of mania euphoria if you we take a look here at the fear and greed index it is good to see us come back this little healthy pullback that people have been asking yeah. for uh we're down to 75 that makes me feel a little bit better we're in we're not in extreme greed <laughs> you know we're yeah. still just like in greed but i think we got as high as 90 man which was just wild so yeah um but man it's crazy good to still track there let's take a look at some of the gaming coins uh 29 billion dollar market cap uh, immutable just under three dollars there gala up 10 percent on the week floki i mean we need to get that one out of there coin gecko uh beam up two percent <laughs> peyton i got to meet uh marco from beam super cool uh, he is incredible super yeah. nice guy we saw him a bunch he came through wolves den like three or four different times um yes. really really just chill guy talking all about forgotten playland they were on uh display at gdc yes. which was um at the AVAX booth, actually. At the it's AVAX cool. booth, yeah. Yeah, because Beam's integrated with AVAX, so very cool. Yeah, AVAX was just absolutely crushing all of GDC. We're, we're going to talk about that a little bit later. Um, let's see, Axie Infinity, about flat on the week. Ronin up 6% off of the news of coming to Coinbase. Does anything jump out at you here? How are we feeling? Prime? Prime has just been I crushing. I think anybody that actually came to Wolves Den is up on the week. So I think that's I think that's what it stands out to me. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Um feels like it's, you know, kind of like the that calm uh time, you know, we're seeing a little bit of that retrace, but like kind of gearing up for that next leg. Um with that said, guys, so in the chat now. <laughs> those are the markets. Uh Good luck. Have fun out there if you are trading them. Uh, meme coins have been going crazy. I think I think that's where all the attention is right now, right? These meme coins just absolutely going wild. Um, I didn't I I didn't look too much into it, but we did see the news of like that Slurf pre-sale, uh, losing ten million dollars, uh, by locking. That. All the pre-sale in Solana are just crazy, right? I think that's also something to note. I don't know how I feel about it yet, but just a a little bit of a thought here is. Mostly they're just like the meme coins and like the PVP. A lot of the liquidity is going over to Solana yeah. because of the meme coin season. Um, and like that is like if you look at it, if you boil it down, it is the purest form of degen culture. Yeah. Um, so like there's just a lot of like just degenism there, but also a lot of the degen is moving to Solana, at least in the early stages. I feel like there's been a culture shift uh to Solana. Um, and I don't know what to put of it yet. So I'll probably talk with Easy or so or Magic Eden because they always tell me I'm wrong about Solana. So uh, need to need to Starboy Jaxie in the in the in the chat as well. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for chatting. Much love, Starboy. Um, yeah, man. I mean, we've talked about this when we first started the show, right? The the cycles returning and all of the same things are just going to end up repeating themselves. We are seeing that meme coin frenzy. Um, uh which is good you know people getting in there making money um people also degenning so be careful with all that and then all there we're seeing a lot of rotation so you know it pays to be in these markets uh and track these narratives um so that you can take advantage of them like one of the ones that we're going to talk about later crypto valleys on blast uh but before we do that let's get into some of these game teasers really excited let's start off by recapping a little bit of wolves den um Sir. Wolves, shout out to Phil, man, producing these epic vlogs. We tried to get, uh, we've put out that. three so far. We're working on day four, uh, but this was the first one from day one, uh, which was really, really cool. 
Also just a friggin' banger. If you guys did not see this, this is a little bit of a glimpse into our time at Wolves and GDC. Matt defies, you love to see it. Oh, I'm not showing things. Oh my goodness, my apologies. There we go. That was our ready up live session. Rax. Hey Zeus, JRP. Tony. Tony. Oh, oh. I'm so glad that we have these because it's so fun to look back on. Shout out to Chibi Clash. It is. Look at Matt Stefanina rocking the karaoke. Raj. Oh, that's step. Yo, you and Sinjin yes. were crushing the Korean barbecue, Peyton. Thank you so much. It was my oh. element, bro. Speaking of easy. Dude, so good. AVAX. Dude, it's such a vibe, bro. No, dude. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Guys, it was so good. I already miss it. So, I miss it already. So good. Uh, if you enjoyed yeah. that, there Shout are. Shout out to Seabass to you, dude. Seriously, Seabass and Icy like did not have like the only reason why there was. It's so good because I'm a. I'm also a videographer too. Just like you have to have so much content yeah. to make these clips and to make it seem so amazing and you guys did not put your phone down uh Seabass did not put his camera down literally thank you guys so much and phil of course freaking amazing also minting his sbt it was freaking beautiful man it was freaking beautiful it was beautiful man it was uh definitely a highlight i'm sad that i missed that but like i saw the footage and oh man phil is such a gem shout out to Seabass, of course yeah. I mean, we could spend two hours uh, highlighting all of the amazing people and like memories from uh, Wolves Den. Uh, such a special week, man. Um, really, really, uh, really warms my icy heart out here. Uh, we do have two other vlogs. If you guys have not seen them, go check them out. And we'll be reduce producing more uh, this week as well from day four and day five. So keep an eye out for that. Uh, but Peyton, let's keep it moving. Let's look at City vs. Tycoon. This game was announced um, during GDC. Uh, I believe that Jonah is working with the, this game, so he was super excited to uh, release yeah. that. I think they raised like $8.5 million from High Frame and uh, Bessemer VP. Not really sure about that. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they've they been building in stealth for the last two years to build the Web3 mobile game that will turn normies into DGENs and onboard 100 million plus gamers. How do we feel about the phrase wow. turning normies into DGENs? I love it. I love it. Because, <laughs> okay, so I, I, say, I say that because I think that's a lot of our, our journey, right? Like, I think, like, we were all normies, and we went over, we hopped the fence, and was like, dang, this is, like, fun. I think there was, like, kind of, like, this personal journey of, like, feeling okay to have fun being a DGEN. Mm -hmm. um, and so I think... For me, at least, I like the term. I like starting to embrace the term DJ because I was so mm -hmm. opposed to it before. Mm -hmm. um, but like, I wear it with a badge of honor now. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know. I like it. <laughs> I right. like it, but probably other people won't. <laughs> well, uh, you know who else likes it, Peyton? City vs. Tycoon. So let's take a look at their trailer here. Uh, unfortunately, they did not put any sound on this. So I'm really confused right. about that. I don't. I don't know if it uploaded wrong or it, what it, happened it, here. Yeah. <laughs> um, little, little bearish in my mind. <laughs> Not going to lie. You can't put um, sound on your trailer, but cool game. It's a mobile, I don't know, uh, DJ any kind of game. Cause you saw the, the dice here, coins here. looks like you're going to have land or items that you can like upgrade. You saw the trees kind of growing there. Um, Maybe like a little bit of a city builder. Not too much known about the game right now. Uh, they do have a website here that I wanted to take a look at, but uh, still it's kind of same information that the city that never sleeps. Move up in the city verse ladder. Yeah. Renter, step into city verse by renting space in a landlord's building. Sure, sharing earnings with landlords as rent can feel like a setback, but don't fret. Your journey up the cryptoverse ladder is about to begin. Okay, interesting. Um, they will have a marketplace and all of that good stuff. The art looks sick. 
Um, yeah, the art looks sick. And so just in terms of like that that tweet that you also have up on uh, that one, if you go, if you click into it, there is also a thread underneath. Um, and they kind of go into a little bit more detail than on the website. Their their first game is City vs. Tycoon, a mobile mm -hmm. casual game, uh, and it described as Monopoly, but for real. So imagine being able to sell and trade real buildings, collect rent with players, land on your buildings and more. So there's like, I think there's a little bit of um, that one specific, uh, what was it? I think it was... There was a there was another specific uh, game back in last cycle that was really popular. Mm -hmm. um, it was called like it was it had a llama as like their main thing. It was like called like um, I forget what it's called, but it was like buying real plots in real life and then uh, different types of like you know people. I don't know. It, it was a weird. It was a closed ecosystem and all that oh. stuff. But it reminds me a lot of what like City vs Tycoon is doing. Okay. Um, and they're probably gonna add more complexity to it um, and actually make it more degen than it was like. It was a very closed ecosystem. Sure. Um, I'm I'm forgetting it. If anybody knows it, I I think hopefully I cue so, somebody in the mm -hmm. chat to, to help me out with that. Um, I think it was like Uptown or something like that. But well, Upland um, was I think the, City was, the land Upland one, was. yeah. Which uh, I'm yeah. hearing that they're yeah. coming back uh, and going to be doing some marketing stuff. I got a friend over there leading one of the campaigns. He's asking me about it, um, and I I also followed one of their YouTubers. Um, so yeah, interesting. Apparently, according to this, the best part is we've proven out our gameplay loop with normie players with over 100,000 US installs with paid UA right. to Web2 players. All of this in stealth. So maybe this is why people are pretty excited and bullish about what they're building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very cool. Yeah, and that's something that I learned that from GDC as well. There was There is a lot of builders building in stealth mm -hmm. these last yeah. two years and have taken more of the patient route and not done any marketing and just have been building the game. Mm -hmm. um, and so we'll see how they, they perform, right? Um, how culture has been built in the ones that have been like publicly facing. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see, but again, Web3 loves new. So yeah. it's very curious to see the loyalty that's gonna happen if like you have a community that is like ready to just like foam at the mouth for you <laughs> versus one that's like, you know, a new new type of uh, launch. So yeah. I'm excited for it, man, either way. Cityverse, one to keep an eye on. People are pretty bullish, and it looks like they've uh, they've uh, they've been cooking. Um, Overworld drops a mm. new trailer. Uh, let's take a look at this one, Peyton. Looks okay. beautiful. I am the we eye good sound that here. sees all and records every tale. Your story has not yet been written. That's a great but voice, it's dude. about to unfold. We're finally getting some Bailed action by the here. Red Mist. Like I like this. Your path yeah. remains yeah. unclear. I feel like they saw Kydra's trailer and was like, "Will you rise? Maybe we gotta as a hero, yeah. drop something, or descend as a monster." I think like Kydra's trailer savior is, is like really beautiful, tyrant. and I think like this one has a very that distinct art style as well. Yeah, I, I think it just I just like see. I love these art styles. Yeah. I don't know if I just like was raised up on good tunes all the time. I just like freaking love all of this stuff. Dude. All right, man. Overworld is it. cooking. Overworld is coming. I yeah, just building out their lore, you know? Yep. Building out their lore, which we've seen work a lot with like Parallel and everything like that. And I think Overworld has done a really good job too in terms of that stuff. And so um, very curious to see what they have in store. Yeah. Um yes i have high expectations i have high expectations but i'm also like this is a project for me i'll be honest that i'm like you, you guys gotta show and prove you guys gotta show and prove um i think that this is a good step towards that uh like you said they are building out their lore and, and telling that story so uh we're waiting overworld might be awaiting our arrival but i am also awaiting your arrival overworld <laughs> all right let's move on to the next <laughs> one Jackie's saying i I agree with Peyton on art, but man, so underwhelming. So, yeah. You know, shout out, it's, it's a slow, it's a slow cook. It's a slow cook, Jaxie. Um, <laughs> I, I do see where you're coming from. And, you know, that's why, listen, we're holding them to a high standard here on Ready Up. Uh, let's take a look at some gameplay from right. Avalon. This is a taste of what AI, AI and games will look like. Shout out to Jeffrey Butler. <laughs> shout out to Sean. They came through the Wolves Den. Uh Man, who didn't come through the wolves then? Let's I'm up be, on anybody that comes. Let's, I'm up on anybody that comes, bro. Let's be honest. But um, uh, we got some gameplay there. NPC robot in our upcoming MMO with deep AI integration. We've given her a Japanese-made cafe persona, but the possibilities are limitless. 
Um, it's about standing there talking look at this. to NPCs. It's about real interaction. This is amazing. Want to show you what's also, coming. just like they—they they don't even touch on how beautiful the graphics look. Oh my goodness, it's right? You know. Like they're here to show literally like the AI integration, and I'm like literally just enamored on how beautiful it looks. Dude, yeah. Congratulations. You have been selected for extermination. Ooh woo. Ooh woo. Thank you for choosing us, Senpai. So these yeah, are... guys, Wait, this stop. is a Web3 game. Me? <laughs> oh. My dear customer, it's not an attack. It's just a delightful serving of destruction. Kawhi, isn't, <laughs> isn't it? It reminds um, me of a. Uh... Instead of giving me a serving of destruction, could we just be friends? Is he talking to the AI? What was that? Yeah, it's talking to the AI. Wow. She reminds me of Maggie from uh, Farlight, <laughs> and like some of the some yeah, of the yeah, yeah. some of the dialogue there. Isn't that so cool though? Like he's talking to it in real time mm -hmm. and like it's answering. So you can see how there is a little bit, there is like some, it's a little slow. Yeah. You know, it's processing the information that he's saying. And I think, I forgot who, who's saying it. Like he has to be very clear on what he's doing. Yeah. But I, I love it. And also like filled in a world that is around AI UGC as well. You can create some cool worlds with this and it's empowering that. And it's all built on the infrastructure of web3 technology mm -hmm. i am super up on avalon sean is amazing uh he is super up on just everything that we're doing here in web3 gaming uh, he loves the people here and so i'm super excited about it um yeah starboy is agreeing avalon looks good um yeah for sure so i uh, saw from java saying two games named avalon and web3 they need to work this out for <laughs> sure <laughs> uh, or see each other in my humble opinion Sovereign Java coming with the alpha. Yeah, Avalon. Avalon also Avalon is a freaking amazing board game too. So SEO is not gonna be good for that as well. <laughs> Shout out to that. All right, guys. I'm gonna run into this uh Twitter picker here. We're gonna do a quick giveaway. Oh, We're gonna pick amazing. three winners to win um uh 10 tickets into the raffle. So let me load this tweet here, Peyton, and we'll try and get this going. Uh let's see. Let me just yeah, go. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm just going to read some some of the chats here. Nice. Uh, I, we bypassed it a little bit whenever it came to um, you guys talking a little bit about the, the Wolves Den trailer. So Ninjaman says, was Korean barbecue seconds only given to Meiji holders? That is correct, actually. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> uh, and um, yeah, Highlander saying sounded uh, fun as hell. Yeah, it really was. And like literally, guys, you know, if anybody wants to, to come next year, please reach out to, to me and I see would love to meet you guys, especially the people in chat. You guys have been day one fans and we love you guys. And so anybody wants to run through, let us know. Uh, and so, yeah, man, it's such a, it was such a great vibe. It was amazing, man. Uh, shout out to Jack. See tomorrow, the block pre-sale. That's hilarious. Um, all right, guys, we do have the giveaway loaded up here. We're going to pick three winners. I don't want Twitter picker to break again. So I'm just going to pick one at a time. Uh, but the first sure. one is going to be Jaxi, the man himself. Um, appreciate your brother as always. 10 tickets into the raffle. Uh, let's do a quick redraw. Garav, 10 tickets into the raffle going to you, my guy. Hey, appreciate you as Garav. always. And last but not least, my prox. Always, always great to see you my in prox. the chat. Um, guys, we're going to do one big giveaway for the uh, Queen Bee. I'm going to drop this into the chat actually here i think and then enter into that form you guys know how we do the giveaway name so that we'll do that giveaway right after we cover all of these game updates so go ahead and enter into that appreciate you so so much with that said peyton let's jump right into the game updates we're at the halfway mark we're doing great on time uh this was massive uh dropped right while we were at gdc shout out to Alyssa. i met Alyssa in person for the first time she is yeah. a gem Dude, such she a was vibe. grinding yes i did she not see her not on her laptop time I, saw the wolf <laughs> I saw her in wolf that she was like writing up a tweet or whatever so just mad respect for Alyssa, just like being able to just like i don't know she just was focused focused on the prize and everything like that obviously she knew when to to hang out and everything like that but she also had a job to do job's yeah. not finished right she's amazing uh it was really great to see her um and yeah she, like 
always working always crushing um i think we're gonna be like going to dubai next month uh too so i'll be excited to yeah. to run it back but coinbase list ronin ronin has finally arrived on coinbase i think they're doing about two million dollars in volume right now on coinbase of course Binance was is the biggest marketplace. I think they're doing like 16, 18 right. million dollars a day in 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 volume Amazing. there. Um really really incredible to see, man. Um I think that this is like a huge validation moment for Ronin, right? From launching their chain, right. coming back from um you know, of course the big hack there and uh just continuing to build uh having a bunch of games on their platform. You can stake Ronin um and you know qualify for future things like the pixels airdrop and you know this talk of aperon doing stuff and everything so um it's great to have uh one of the gaming leaders available on coinbase um so right. i'm really excited about this it takes a little while to get on coinbase right but uh when you do it's really it does. a validating moment yeah, it's it's more of like the branding, but also accessibility for for learn normies. How I see it about is that for it's also a a break into the U.S. markets. Yeah. So once U.S. markets start coming in and they see Ronan, they're just like, oh shoot, okay, it's it's already listed on uh, on U.S. and it does it feels like a lot more safer for them. I don't know if anybody like feels that too, but like it feels safer for them. It's like okay, Coinbase has it, it's a stamp of approval. I can send it over to my Ronan wallet, which is one of the best wallets. Uh, out there and so it just feels a lot better i i think that's going to be a huge win for ronin to to break into us for games like hydro who is more web 2 focused in my opinion for like getting um getting the comic books and getting some other fidgetals it's like okay well i could just buy hydro using coinbase it should be easy absolutely absolutely uh other ronin kind of esque ecosystem news um YGG, Yield Guild Games, is building an on-chain infrastructure to power the next wave of guilds and try to change the narrative around them. So we got to see Gabby and meet with him at Wolves Den. Shout out Gabby for coming through. Uh, I met him last year at GDC for Gabby. the first time. Uh, went to the YGG event. Got a quick photo with him. I'm like, hey man, huge, huge fan. Uh, really kind of surreal this year to have him and all the other game founders and projects come through the Wolves Den and uh, and meet with us there. So he was telling us, right, they are known as the biggest guild, gaming guild in Web3. They've, you know, uh, basically own the Asian markets, but they want to uh, evolve into the guild of guilds and be a protocol for other guilds to launch on their platform and manage uh, things on their platform. So there's a quote here. Um, they already have features like quests and achievements launched for various games, of course, but otherwise it's currently in the process of building out its on-chain infrastructure. So the on-chain guild format will include a multi-sig wallet for each guild, along with NFT badges that will act as an allow list that define the roles within the gaming organization. Uh, they've got plans to launch this in Q2 of 2024. I found that super, super interesting when uh, Gabby, and shout out to Cairo, he's uh, responsible and working with them. Yeah, um, I love that dude. I love Cairo so much. And it was really cool to see him like step into kind of the, the business professional side of things uh, yeah. in, that yeah, yeah. in that meeting. Um, but they've got big plans uh, to expand into the West, of course, working with Cairo. And uh, yeah, I really liked how they were thinking about the on-chain guild management and how that's going to create, you know, the history, right? We talk about player uh, profiles and digital identities. Um, so you can have that history with your guild. Um, so there's a lot of really fascinating uh, on-chain uh, utility and feature sets there that they're going to be doing with guilds. So I really, uh, I'm really excited about what they're doing. What, what was your take on this, Peyton? I like Gabby, uh, the way that he thinks about, I, sh I shouldn't say like, I, I love Gabby because I think what he is understanding and where wolves understand too, it's the next front, the final frontier is communities, mm -hmm. right? I think when it comes to even working with KOLs, uh, KOLs are kind of a symbol for the community underlying it, like Dr. Disrespect. It's like, okay, you want some people that follow Dr. Disrespect, mm -hmm. right? But the KOL is now moving at least in Web3, KOLs kind of move away and the brand gets put up top. Uh, like Wolves, for example, like YGG, like, yes, there's Gabby, yes, there's me, but at the same time, there's Wolves mm -hmm. and there is uh, YGG. 
right? So how mm -hmm. do I work and tap into a community that is going to go shoulder to shoulder with each other and push each other forward way more than a KOL, right? And also there is like a little bit of like hedging when it comes to like a KOL being the head of it and like, hey, they're the be all. So, you know, Dr. Disrespect and kind of the, a lot of issues that he's had in the past, he's always had a dip, right? And a liability per se, right? Like Nick Merckx and all that stuff. Um, but if you have a community that's representative, like if an individual kind of falls off, uh, then, you know, the community might take a little bit of a hit, but at the same time, it is that community, it is that brand that, that moves forward. And so me and Gabby are very much aligned on that. We've had like, you know, a couple hour talk uh, based on that. Um, and so I, I really love what Gabby's doing, what YGG is doing. I love it, dude. Gabby is so sharp, man. Uh, he's one of the, the uh, um, he's got a keen eye for where the, the, the puck is going. Um, I, I think that he's a visionary, and I think that uh, the on-chain guilds uh, is something that I'm really excited about. Um, so I think he's so right to be building that out. Um, we're going to keep it moving, though. Yeah. Um, guys, keep an eye on YGG. They are cooking. Um, and if you're participating in one of these guilds, you might want to look into putting your guild on on chain with uh, YGG. Um, yeah. Big update. Well, Crypto Black Dan is also oh. saying. Oh, sorry. I just want to put in chat real quick. Crypto Block Dan, who works at YGG, is saying, great to see you guys chatting about this. Gabby is the goat and always ahead of the curve. I agree. I agree. Sorry. Shout out to Crypto <laughs> sorry, Block yeah, Dan. That. Always, always a pleasure, man. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, with that said, we are going to move on. Big update coming out of Shrapnel. I'm an ambassador. You work for them, but I do think that this was significant. They dropped their partnership weapon skins. They look beautiful. So we got an AVAC skin, a Badago skin, Superverse, Neo Tokyo, and Play Alchemy. Uh, their skins were available in game um, for STX2, which was really cool. They ran that all throughout GDC uh, and the Wolves Den. We were playing a bunch. Um, Peyton my favorite skin by far was the alchemy skin oh alchemy, my goodness right? this thing alchemy. looked freaking <laughs> gorgeous man i was talking with them yeah. they put a lot of time into this design a lot of work had to go into a week this. and a half a week and a half uh for the design of the alchemy skins um and it's absolutely crazy right so sometimes uh, sorry to go into a little bit more of a tangent but i'm hoping this adds value to people that are not behind the scenes in terms of production costs and everything like that Production costs like for this is like absolutely crazy, right? So if it takes 1.5 weeks, it's touching a lot of people's hands and everything like that. So the value of this actual skin is extremely high when it comes to a production standpoint. It is absolutely beautiful. Yeah. And I love it. Alchemy is the one that I equip. I'm no joke. Like that's <laughs> I'm yeah. not joking. This Same. is that one's that one's my favorite skin. Same. So if you are are in one of these communities, you are eligible to claim these uh, by April, uh, <laughs> uh, March 31st, and the airdrop will be executed yes. April 4th. Uh, these partnership skins, I think, are going to be really, really valuable in the future. They also launched their marketplace where uh, there's a few skins available uh, for purchase. I swept the floor last night, got a bunch of skins. Um, I think like they were like $9, $15 skins. Uh, some of them were cheaper, $3. Yeah. It's like you know it doesn't it's not gonna break the bank um i am uh this and is a lot, my kind a lot of, of people game. got uh yeah and a lot of people got airdropped uh shrap too so mm. it's you know you're just spending it on on the the gun skins anyways um so really go. cool really opportunity and also it's uh i will say this after stx2 they're completely gone i don't know yeah. if that is also uh uh linked in here but uh stx2 they're gone uh, and also the partnership skins, uh, just, let's just say this, uh, because the plan is still, uh, I don't want to leak too much. So anyways, let's just say that Shrapnel really values our partners. Yeah. Um, and so we're going to do everything in our power, uh, to make sure that they're valuable as long as Shrapnel is alive. Let's just say that, Love um, that. Love maybe that. more on that later. Yeah. Super excited for everything that Shrapnel is doing big update out of there. But also, let's talk about Wolves Den, baby. Uh, so cool to see all of these posts. Uh, shout out to John Hook from Play Ember. I got some Ember hoodies. Um, they had some fire merch. John Hook came through the Dow and the Den. Um, love this, man. Value-driven. Genuinely want to see Web3 Gaming win. Bring together creators and games in a sustainable way. I love that part. And the ROI was beyond impressions and posts, the engagement, not just on socials, but the IRL making connections and building ecosystems, build together, game together, win together. You absolutely love to see it. This is one of the photos yeah. from um, 
uh, Alpha Knight, just everyone coming together. Oh, oh, so good, so good. We also had a post from Bo. Looks so good. Uh, you know, shouting out you, Peyton, and Sam, the entire Wolves crew for putting together a packed week of events, networking ops, play tests, and more. You've built something incredibly special at Wolves. Can't wait to see what comes next. As far as the games, we had uh, Shrapnel going, Nine Heroes, Chippy Clash, Blood Loop, Space Nation, Rec League. All these were popping off. It was crazy. Um, so, so much fun. Uh, <laughs> she's leaking some alpha here. Basically, everyone is dropping a token. It's going to be an absolute bloodbath as games fight for the spotlight in the next three to six months. The teams that aren't dropping a token still had incredibly bullish news from acquisitions to marketing plans to partnerships. Really enjoyed hearing from all of these projects here. And then Knock and Magic Eden and Vo, they're cooking up as well. So pay attention to that. Yeah, absolutely loved all the photos. And that's the team, right? That's the team you're trading against. Top left, right there. <laughs> and let me just, if you don't mind clicking into this one. So who you're going up against with Magic Eden, right? That's Yoon, which is Loco Doco. Uh, amazing BD also has a high amount of connections in the esports division because, well, he was a professional and also a coach. Dom who's also known as Harrison. He's also part of BD. So they just understand gaming. Knock and Vo, who've been part of the gaming industry for so long. And this is the gaming department. And they have Chris Havigan uh, above them. They are amazing people. And they are all DGENs. They understand the assignment. So <laughs> don't, don't sleep on that crew. I love that guy. Absolutely, man. Uh, we're going to keep it moving. Shout out to Easy. Easy and Vo coming through Wolves Den every single day. If if some if we were doing awards for Wolves Den, Easy would hands down win Gamer of the Week. Uh, this man games nonstop. I did not see him not on a PC playing a game, uh, either at the uh, the yeah. AVAX booth or at Wolves Den. It was really freaking awesome to see, man. Uh, thank you so much for the support, Easy. It was really incredible. Um, always a vibe. Always a vibe. Um, Brian DeSanto in, from Infinigods also shouting out Wolves Dow and, and the Den. Really, really cool to see um, and meet him. He is just an incredible human being. Um, really, really excited for everything that Infinigods has coming down the pipeline. Um, and then, of course, we had these insane posters. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Crypto Actor for putting these together. You got uh, Sam Stefanina, the Wolf of Web Three. You absolutely love to see it. Sinjin, Sinjin above <laughs> the law. This was hilarious. And of course, we got you, Peyton, as Teen Wolf, <laughs> a new comedy starring Peyton Kalavahea. He always wanted to be special, but he never expected this. <laughs> so funny, man. So funny. Um, oh, dude, he's so good. In the yeah. Discord too, he's just pure culture. I love him so much. Yeah, if you guys aren't following Crypto Actor, go give him a follow, man. He's just, oh my goodness. People think I smile a lot. Man, I, I did not see this man not smiling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, you had posted this yesterday, Peyton. This was really uh, yes. heartwarming, beautiful to see. Mm -hmm. We won't go into all of it. We'll have all these linked in the show notes, guys, if you haven't seen this stuff. Um, but there's a lot of cultural significance uh, that happened yeah. last week at Wolves Den. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, of course, none of this would have been hey, possible buddy. without the amazing sponsors of the Wolves Den. So Shrapnel, Avalanche, OpenSea, Carve, Helica Gaming, Blood Loot, Chippy Clash, Play, Ember, Rec League, Blade, Blade of God, and Space Nation. Shout out to y'all for making that possible. Shout out to the 100 plus Thank Wolves you guys. Thank you so much. that came down. Um, you know, oh man, the vibes. <laughs> um, but with that said, I do want to keep it moving into the next topics. We do want to shout out Honeyland. Guys, go download Honeyland if you have not. It's a super fun, uh, casual game on your phone. I've been playing nonstop. Um, and of course, uh, oh, sorry. I miss, uh, I had this tweet. The last thing that I wanted to close out from Knock, yeah. just saying that uh, it was great. It was awesome. It should be celebrated, but we got a lot of work to do. Uh, this is just the start. And uh, we really need to build this industry over the next five years, uh, capitalize on the momentum that we have in this space. I couldn't agree more. I really love this take from Knock. I think that you had re retweeted this saying, Jobs not finished. Yeah, I put um, Kobe Bryant's Jobs not finished. And if anybody has is like a fan of sports, it's one of the most iconic interviews after. Um, and I think he, they're up 3-1. Yeah. And Kobe Bryant, obviously the Mamba mentality, says Jobs not finished. Job's yeah. not finished. And he keeps on saying it over and over again. Um, so 
I friggin' yeah, I'm, I'm hyped. It's the start line. It's not the finish. Yeah, that's that's really the good uh, uh, takeaway from GDC as well. It's like it feels like we've arrived, but like you know the the uh, it's upon us to build uh, this industry and keep pushing forward. Um, exactly. Uh, with that said, guys, we are gonna get into the uh, uh, right. wheel of names. Let me pull everyone who entered in here. Oh my goodness, you guys went ham. You went absolutely ham here. Uh, I copy and paste about. all these names in here. Boom. There you go. You see it. Let's see. Let's make sure that we don't got anybody doubling up here. Yeah. And while, while, he's, while he's making the doubling, because you guys, you guys, hey, we're, we're all DGENs here. We respect the game, guys. <laughs> I'm going to talk about Honeyland, uh, what is going to be on uh, the spinner. You see the logo right in the middle. But Honeyland is an amazing resource management strategy game. The objective is to grow your colony of bees as they travel through many universes to find a place to call home, which you saw in the trailer uh, before. But while visiting that universe, you'll be able to send your bees on missions to harvest honey. HXD, which is on that ticker, hunt for honey pots filled with shards, complete quests, breed new bees, and go head to head with other players by raiding their hives. So it's it's really amazing, and I always touch on this because whenever I talk to Corey, whenever they they did their sponsorship, you know, he really feels like he missed out on explaining um, that uh, aspect of they're making this accessible. That whenever people purchase. Uh, something using just normal app purchases it turns it into hxd and then you can list on the marketplace as hxd so literally they are making accessible to that they're actually using white label marketplaces uh using uh magic eden uh, as their specific program and you know he feels bad that he can mention it but that's also why they sponsor us so we can be their their voice uh, here and honestly i met Corey. uh he's such an amazing person yeah. so i'm super excited uh, for him and to be partnered with him uh, it goes beyond just you know bees and ready up it goes beyond it, it goes it touches relationships and community so Corey, thank you for for betting on us we're definitely betting on you guys yeah. it's deeper than rap guys it's deeper than rap all right guys we are going to run uh the giveaway here we're giving away one of their queen bee eggs uh so that you can get into Honeyland for yourself it's, i think it's at like 80 dollars who, who is it so zozu or cute babe zuzu BGD, congratulations, fam. Uh, we'll be reaching out to you. Good job. Um, got to check in with the chat here. Actually, let's go here with the chat. Appreciate everyone in the chat. Token Bloodbath, Peyton Numero, Uno. Still haven't played Bloodloop. It is a lot of fun, man. We had a impromptu uh, Bloodloop tournament. Um, uh, Gosh, I think like Thursday lit. night. It was insane. That's <laughs> it was insane. Peyton, you actually got, you guys actually won that. Yeah, maybe that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, Fresco's gonna Fresco's gonna tell a different story on <laughs> Wednesday for Gamified. But I'm just saying, me and Cairo uh, and Logic freaking clutched. So I'm just saying, just saying, it's freaking great. Shout out to Taylor Sid in the chat. The Open Z hoodie is cool. I love this hoodie. It's so comfortable. It's real quality. Uh, Zuzu, yeah. congratulations. Thank you for being here, fam. Uh, yes, you did, sir. We'll follow up with you. Make sure we get your. Uh, uh solana wallet and we'll get that b over to you um also sure. we can't forget about our other sponsor open c shout out to open c guys i don't know if you're familiar but they are streaming all of the time on their official channel and they're streaming web3 games and supporting web3 creators they had massive open c streams going on all week uh from the wolves den all over understands the culture is playing the web three game supporting web three gaming um it's really really incredible to see guys yeah. it's at like twenty thousand views on on twitter six thousand people tuned in to look at this uh you know they tagging matt d5 shrapnel wolves doubt in this but of course this all right, all that doesn't right. look like matt d5s to me that looks like my duo squad partner peyton kaleva hey a k9 of the k9s there running some shrapnel you love to see it did a good job i extracted uh in that hour i extracted with 400 and then I extracted with 200 i had really two really good games off the bat did not extract any more after that <laughs> so uh that's why you see the sharp decline down uh no one wants to watch my gameplay after that yeah absolutely love to see it man super super cool though um yeah shout out to openz i love everything that they're doing supporting us at ready up supporting peyton wolves Dow, but also wolves den they were one of the main sponsors there um yes, they were. of course bringing the merch thank you guys 
tune into these streams guys they're a lot of fun all of our streams uh from the open cgg account on twitch and all that on twitter um and he's a gamer he goes hard <laughs> um all right guys we're gonna keep it moving let's talk about some of this industry news that we had first up hundred million dollar inevitable games fund led by king river capital for immutable and polygon to invest in crypto games uh, and across uh platforms uh and infrastructure as well so the inevitable games fund has already invested in seven projects with four of them revealed uh of which including pixelmon uh metalcore uh guild of guardians and of course my pet hooligan so we covered some of these raises recently peyton I think Pixelmon and and uh, and Metalcore millions and millions of dollars coming into these projects. Well, now we find out that it is from this Inevitable Games Fund. I also like how they uh, named their their fund the Inevitable Games Fund. Uh, had to have been taken that from uh, Sam Stefanina here, Content Creator of the Year. Can we just shout out to Sam? Yeah, can we just shout out to Sam like how much he drives culture? He's he's Crazy. literally amazing, dude. He Crazy. literally this fund is named after his mantra that he puts out for Twitter these last few months. So good on him absolutely crazy uh we've seen these like big million dollar you know hundred million dollars billion dollar uh gaming funds coming out i think animoca had a bunch uh i remember last year uh, uh game seven announced a big uh uh, uh pool of money to invest in, in into the space shout out to immutable for their announcements because i haven't like heard much from those other people of like what they've done with those those that money um, but I love to see that, like, oh, they're already deploying that capital. They're already investing into the games here. Um, so I'm just, like, really excited for what Immutable and Polygon are doing in this regard. Um, I know that they're cooking up a lot. So really excited to see that. More money coming into the space is just bullish, Peyton. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm excited for it, man. Hopefully it's used well. Yeah. Um, guys, let's talk about crypto valleys this is going crazy i was like a little bit the only thing that i was regretful about being at wolves den was all the action that we were missing out on on the timeline yeah. i feel like markets Market. were going crazy yeah. so crypto valleys has popped up uh going absolutely wild it's on the uh blast uh, and it wraps a lot of the DeFi mechanics and randomness into one FOMO inducing package. A lot of comparisons to DeFi kingdoms on steroids here. Um, so if you're not familiar, uh, it's a web-based game where you buy an NFT based seeds with the game's yield token and plant them and then eventually produce uh, uh, or harvest the produce to earn even more yield, their token. And then you rinse and repeat. Uh, so Crypto Valleys has more ambitious aims ahead as spelled out in the game's documentation and in social media threads. But for now, it's pretty simple and streamlined. So it is that kind of uh, 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 loop where, you know, you invest in and you earn more um, and you're just basically farming that a um, little bit of history here. So the price pumped to $17 on, thir on Thursday. It's, not it's cooled off a little bit right now, but it's been rising in since Saturday to a current price of around $13 at the time of this writing. And that gives the token a $95 million market cap. The tokens were initially offered for sale in game at a price of around 15 oh. cents. So 15 Face cents melting. up to 14, 15 dollars. Oh. Insane. Absolutely insane. Uh, you know, guys, Vidar is the alpha. Uh, he tweeted this out on March 15th. I think the price was around like 14, uh, 40 cents, maybe 50 cents. Uh, so you tweet out, this is one of the moments where I say something and you check back in two weeks <laughs> and kick yourself. Basically, DeFi Kingdom's on blast, but with way better tokenomics as usual. Do your own research, et cetera, oh. et cetera. Um, man, I wish I, I saw this tweet at the time, but I did not look into it. And I am yeah. sad. You know what, Vidar? We care about friendship more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, shout out to Yellow no. Panther if you are interested in getting into this. He uh, put together uh, the ultimate farming guide for Crypto Valleys. There's a lot of great yeah. information here. Quick overview. Maybe uh, you can still get upside. I, I haven't looked at it yet, I see, but like maybe you can still get upside by actually yielding it for your time so i, I don't mean, know maybe I, it's still bullish right? i'm hearing that like to to really get into the game in any significant way it is crazy expensive it's like forty thousand dollars or something like that shout out to min dynasty yeah. min had posted something uh a breakdown as well i saw crazy numbers as much as like a hundred and thirty thousand dollars to get in uh so it's not crazy. something that okay. i'll be taking a look at um you know 
I yeah. am a little concerned, right? I do have this tweet from uh, Dancing Eddie here. You know, question. If we know for a fact that something is actually a Ponzi, is it immoral or illegal to shill it? Uh, for context, you know, he's saying Crypto Valleys is potentially a Ponzi uh, and people know it. And by talking about it, you know, you're kind of furthering that. So I listened to uh, Eddie last night. He actually had a space where they actually broke down, like, is it kind of a Ponzi or is this just kind of crypto right. gaming or, or crypto, you know, business as you as usual, a really good conversation um, in uh, the comments ensued, you know, talking about, hey, maybe everything in crypto is a Ponzi. He disagrees with that, right? There's a lot of good projects building good things. Um, right, right, I encourage right. you guys, again, do your own research, not financial advice. This is why we share these things on Ready Up, right. kind of trying to point you guys in the right direction uh, so that you can find out more about this. Um, we saw yeah. a lot of this, Peyton, right? A lot of projects, you know, rise very quickly <laughs> and uh, people are all excited. People are making money. Uh, but what goes up so fast must come down. And, you know, uh, I don't know what's going to happen with Crypto Valleys. I, I haven't uh, dove into the tokenomics that Vidar was talking about. You know, hey, there's better tokenomics here. Um, but the thing is, the money's got to come from somewhere, right? And I've been on that side where you buy a bunch of NFTs because you're making money, things are going well. Um, but then the floor creators and you're left holding the bag. So, uh, right. And then we also have a huge exodus of people, right? Yeah. I think sometimes there is a PVP nature to us that um, we look at the other person on the side of those numbers. Uh, we don't look at the, actually the other side of those numbers. Um, so it's a good call out for sure. Um, I don't know if we're going to change. Um, <laughs> and I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is the demographic, you know, and, and that's really what it comes down to. Are we cementing ourselves to being kind of this PVP nature and some of the trading and uh, PVP is who we are as our group. I don't know yet. We'll see. Yeah. Vo saying, my boys, GM, GM, love you guys. We love you, Vo. We Liz, love the best. you, We just Bo. shout out your tweet earlier. Yeah, we had you right here. Shout out to you guys. Oh, my goodness. Looking amazing. Uh, but really appreciate your breakdown, Vo, um, and and showing love to, to Wolves Den and everything. Uh, that was fantastic. Uh, we're going to keep it moving. Let's talk about some winners from GDC. Uh, I had posted this tweet. This will be our last news item. Uh, to me, Peyton Avalanche clearly won uh, GDC. Their booth was incredible. The branding was incredible. They did everything so thoughtful with their comic book, with the Web3 Gaming Sucks, with their Genius Bar, uh, with some of the content that came out of there. I think Shrapnel clearly won GDC, sponsoring uh, the okay. Wolves Den, bringing six PCs, driving allowing culture. people to game. Yeah, driving culture, allowing Seriously. people to game, uh, building uh, um, or launching STX2 with their build, launching their in-game marketplace uh, and their in-game skins. I thought that was massive. Just like, you know, who wasn't talking about Shrapnel uh, throughout GDC and of course Wolves Den driving a lot of the culture being the hub for people to come um, and and connect and network and also relax and chill and just have a good time play different games um, I said that all three yeah. understood the assignment and went above and beyond to deliver extraordinary experiences and events masterful planning and execution um, I mean geez again we got this tweet from easy look at, look that. at that booth man. coming down the escalator so let's just also talk context here so this is the this is the escalator that goes down to the gdc floor there is no other entrance to the gdc floor um so absolutely amazing and i just love that like they had i don't know how many pcs here but so many pcs where people could just jump on yeah. and play games right uh we actually have this uh funny video from um avery uh, let's let's Welcome actually everybody. give this a look because this was out. To the number awesome. one booth in the whole city of San Francisco, Avalanche Gaming. Web3 Gaming sucks. Why is that? Let's go find Avery's out. Avery's so good, man. So if you look behind me for a second, you see in their natural environment, gamers, all sizes, big, small, medium, with one goal in mind. Such a perfect showcase. Easy. So I sent There's out 71 Vo. brochures. I got two business cards, good leads. About five business cards. I have no idea what they do. And I got about 20 telegrams. Pretty good day. Pretty good day. <laughs> so clearly, we did a pretty damn good job. So let's see how the other booths stack up. Let's go. 
<laughs> Yo, I'm so down bad. I did not get one of these tech decks. I'm, I'm. Yeah, you didn't sad. get a tech deck. I'm extremely sad about that. I have one. I have one. TikTok. 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 <laughs> I don't know what some of these games were. Who <laughs> watched this? It was the friend. Yes. <laughs> it's unreal. <laughs> I did not expect Avery to be as tall, by the way. He is extremely tall. I cannot lie, the back flips were cool. But other than that, I mean, come on. The Web3 Gaming Sucks booth, Avalanche. This wasn't just a collection of fun little gamers having a good old time. It was more than that. It Shout out like Doug a, Hype in the background. Always like gotta get in the camera, huh? Or it's quick. Oh man, so good, man. Any other takeaways? I love how also just our content. Is up. No, I just like I just want to kind of call this out. Like, I love how like our content is also upgrading to the level of the people that we're covering. Mm. Um, that was something that was making me really nervous. Um, because everybody was getting better and better and better. Mm -hmm. Um, when it comes to building their trailers, mm. how their teams are syncing, and the content wasn't really getting to that level. Um, but like, honestly, shout out to you. I see I was doing just the typical, like, you know, a uh, show of like news and whatever, but you really came into ready up and was just like, Hey, Peyton, like, let's, let's increase, <laughs> let's increase the level of production. And you always challenge me and always challenge the show to be better every single week. So thank you for that. Uh, you're part of that culture change uh, of content being upgraded, man. I appreciate that call up, Peyton. Uh, I mean, we're just here to push Web3 Gaming forward, and uh, I couldn't ask for a better uh, co-host to, to track all of these updates uh, and news uh, items and, and uh, you know, game developments each and every week, man. Um, it's a lot of fun, and, you know, we both care about the space so incredibly much. It really feels like Web3 yeah. Gaming has arrived. Uh, it is undeniable and inevitable. We still have a lot to prove, mm -hmm. like Nock was saying. Uh, job is nowhere near done. It is upon us to build yeah. this over the next five years. Um, but the reception, the reception at GDC uh, was such... In stark contrast to last year, it, like, it felt so good uh, to be represented the way right. that we were. Um, so I just, I couldn't be more excited to be doing this. Um, yeah, I don't really have much yeah. more to say about that, man. Um, yeah, man. This is awesome. Let's move on. A uh, little bit alpha of the week for you guys. Uh, I wanted to share this thread from Gaming Chronicles. Shout out to Raiden uh, and the GC the boys over there. Seven curated pieces of alpha this week to help you stay ahead of the curve. This is absolutely fantastic. Uh, you got stuff from Kermit. You got stuff from uh, YP. I thought this was really good from YP. Uh, keeping track of the current upcoming yep. narrative plays. You know, gaming with upcoming tokens, gaming on Blast, Friend Tech 2.0 uh guilds we talked about ygg here of course the hold and stake to airdrop really feels like we're running back a lot of the uh the game fi and like the DeFi narratives um which we'll have to like you know track and see we, uh, again we want to make sure that these are sustainable uh economies and and you know tokenomic structures but um i mean that's what people are here for right. in, the, in the crypto gaming space right so uh, but we also are seeing the emergence of all the games, right? The ga a lot of these games are coming to market. They're incredible right. uh, and a lot of fun. I don't think that we've got so much the gamers yet, um, but I think that, you know, last year we wanted the games. This year it seems like we have the games. I know so many more are coming out over the next year. And I think over the next one to two to three years, we will see more of those gamers come into the ecosystem. Love it. Um bunch of under the radar projects web3 gaming frontier dropping the alpha on your head of course abby always putting out banger uh, uh recap threads um and also again we got min <laughs> describing why he put fifty thousand dollars into crypto valleys of course not financial advice but you know really good he's putting out so much great content in terms of um um yeah. what he's doing and i think that if you're gonna do your due diligence and look into this stuff he is definitely one to follow uh insightful tracking a lot of the crypto valley wallets um so uh giving you more resources and um uh, ways to find that alpha um peyton that's gonna conclude 
today's episode Let's of Ready go. Up. Let's jump into the chat here. I'm what do we got? Comments in the chat, though, no, dude. Yeah, you so can. we got Sovereign Java. Looking forward to playing. Yeah, looking forward to playing Blood Loop so I can compare to Nyan Hero. Seems like a hero shooter's taken off. I will say Sovereign Java. I don't think there's like a. I think Nyan Heroes is like way better, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I love Blood Loop. Uh, I think Blood Loop, in terms of a game, is really fun. Whenever you're in a uh, section like or like in a area like Wolves Den, where like you're playing against your friends and all that stuff, but there's still a lot of like work to be done in terms of polish. Nine Heroes has something like very distinct in terms of movement uh, as well. So in terms of the hero shooter, I would choose Nine Heroes over Blood Loop. But I would love for you to make your own call uh, on that. You, you just shouted out Yukin though. Yeah, Yukin in the chat. The Avax booth was amazing. Shout out to Brian DeSanto pulling up. Yeah. Let's freaking go, Legends. Bo asking, what Solana games are we uh, guys mo are we most interested in? Well, of course, you know, gotta shout out Honeyland. Um, <laughs> shout out Honeyland. Listen, I really like what the Mixed Mob guys are doing. Um, you know, they they had a big launch. Uh, Star Atlas yeah. had uh, their game on display at GDC and got to play a little we bit of that. Also went by the house. Yeah, shout out to Michael. Came by the house. Shout it's, out to Michael Wagner. The amount of founders that came to the house, dude, was crazy. Yeah, Michael Wagner to come by the house was literally amazing. Uh, I really appreciate you. Like it showed a lot to me, man. Like in terms of like, sorry, not showed a lot to me, but it, it meant a lot to me. Um, in terms of the aspect uh, of things, Bryce saying LFG. I think Solana for me. What I'm most excited about is Parallel Colony. Yes, which that was the last one. I don't know if we can we can admit it, but we we. we uh, I don't. I, well, I think we. I, I don't, maybe maybe redacted. I'm not sure. I don't know. Redacted it. Yeah. You know, struck out that we'll, we'll, we'll edit the clip all the way up to that point. Uh, <laughs> and then, yeah, Nyan Heroes for me was, was a lot of fun. I got to play with a couple of people, talk trash to Python and um, Icy. So love it. And yeah, Tatsumiko. Forgot that. Tatsumiko. Ooh, I also log in uh, every week to be able to play uh, two or three times a week. Uh, I wish I could do it every day. <laughs> so, yeah. Peyton, you look my so voice, good my voice in, is that, to get lost again. in that Wolves Den hoodie, man. Oh, my goodness. Show the back. Show the back. Let's go. Highly, yeah, highly man. coveted piece of merch from uh, from the Wolves yeah. Den. All right, guys, that's going to conclude so, today's yeah. episode of Ready Up. Thank you so much for tuning in. We do this every single Thank Monday, guys. bringing you all the news and updates from this week in Web3 Gaming. We'll be back next Monday. Shout out to everybody in the chat. Um, shout out to Honeyland and OpenSea for uh, making all of this possible. Keep gaming. Keep it icy. Wolves Den, baby. Yeah. Wow.